Hey guys, it's up here and welcome to PHP tutorial number 41. In this tutorial, we're finally, finally going to be getting on to um, learning how to use MySQL within PHP scripts. So, uh, let's get straight into it. I guess we've got a fair amount to cover in this tutorial. Now, when um, you connect to a database, or when you connect to a host and then eventually a database, um, in PHP to MySQL, you need four variables, okay, or four four um, values which you need to have at hand, which are the name of the database you want to um, connect to, or first the name of the host you want to connect to, then the name of the database, and then the username and the password to get into the host, okay. Um, and so I've just defined these with a define function, um, just to make them constants, basically. Um, and then once you have those, um, you need to um, create a variable which holds the connection, because what you'll often find is that um, several MySQL functions you'll come to use will require um, the connection variable or a connection that holds the state, uh, sorry, a variable which holds the state of a connection, um, because that variable will hold important information if errors are thrown or something, so it's always a good idea, and if you don't do it, um, you'll probably find situations that'll crop up where you can't actually use certain functions or something, simply because you didn't do that. Uh, so um, I like to call this, well, PHP likes to call this DBC, which stands for, I'm pretty sure, Database Connection. Okay, and then you just say it's equal to, and then you have to use a MySQL underscore connect function. And the order of uh, arguments is the host value, the user value, and the password value. So now's a good time to actually cover those three things. If you're working on your own machine as a host, you can just use localhost as a host. Um, now, because I've changed WAMP over to port 8080, I need to put in this colon and then the port. So that's why that's slightly different. Then the username, unless you've changed it, is generally root, okay? And the password as well is generally empty, okay? Now, that covers basically all the variables we need to know for the MySQL underscore connect function. Now there's a little bit added on the end where it says or die couldn't connect to the could not connect to the host. You could probably guess what this is doing from the uh, the string in between the parentheses. But basically, what happens is if the MySQL underscore connect function fails, it will go to this or die part and it will execute the die function, which basically just prints out um, whatever text we've supplied it with. In this case, we couldn't connect to the host, okay? So this little or die thing can be added on to, uh, I'm pretty sure, almost every MySQL function, um, which will, and that will be executed if the function fails, okay? Now, we've connected to the host, but we haven't actually selected our database yet, so all we need to do um, is, and I've just, um, store this in a variable too, but I don't think you actually need to. But uh, all we need to use to select the database is mysql underscore select underscore db and supply the database name. And again, I've just used the or die here, could not connect to database. So let's see if this works. Um, I'll just open up localhost. Yeah. Don't know why that was happening. Um, so, localhost 8080. Tutorials. And now this might not work. I'm not entirely sure about the password and the username. Um, but, because I haven't changed them as far as I'm aware, so um, it should work. But yeah. And this is being annoyingly slow. Let's try that again. That's loading. Maybe it is actually this little 8080 part. Let's try that. Okay, so that it was the 8080 part. Um, I don't know why that that 
confused it actually, but it seems like it connects okay just with localhost. So forget that bit about uh, the port uh, having to put it in for the host. Uh, that obviously was a lie. Um, and if it if it was if it um, uh, as localhost just localhost by itself without the port name, it seems to be okay. And because if it wasn't. I'm assuming the or die would have been executed and we would see it, um, an error. Let's um, try this, we'll demonstrate this by putting in some random username. And there we go, we get this, um, we get a warning and it says MySQL on connect, access denied for user OGH at localhost using password no in blah blah blah, okay? And then we get this uh, could not connect to host. Now I'll talk about um, showing warnings and stuff in the next few tutorials because there are there is a way we can disable this um, because when you're on runtime something like this it, for a hacker or someone trying to get into your website is really useful. So obviously um, you at run when you're releasing this website you'll want to turn off the warnings and stuff so that doesn't show. Uh, and you could just have it execute something like this, which would give a minimal amount of information, not enough to be able to hack it or anything. So now let's go back here and let's change the database name to something completely random, which doesn't exist, and we'll get a could not connect to database error. Okay, but well, it's not an error; it's just the or die part that we added in. So um, that's how to connect to a database. Next we'll be looking at um, error levels and stuff and setting that and um, disabling warnings and stuff for only single functions and then we'll get on to running queries in PHP after that. Anyways guys, over and out.